MyPBX supports interconnection among multiple devices. Successful interconnection means extensions can make free calls directly among devices, chunks can be shared among them, and conference calls can be achieved. Take MyPBX standard as an example to explain how to connect two MyPBX together. The method is applicable to other models of MyPBX. To simplify the configuration, we recommend that you use two different sets of numbers respectively for extensions in the two MyPBX. Extension numbers in MyPBX A start with 5, and extension numbers in MyPBX B start with 6. First, set up port forwarding on MyPBX A side. The default SIP port is UDP 5060 and RTP port 10,000 to 12,000. The port can be changed in SIP settings page. Then go back to SIP settings page to configure NAT. Fill in external IP address and local network identification. And net mode is yes. Refer to part 2 net settings if you want to configure net in other ways. Next, click Trunks and Add Service Provider. Trunk type can be SIP or IAX. Here we choose SIP. The hostname slash IP is the public IP of my PBXB. Click Save. Next, create an outbound route. The dial pattern is 6XX, meaning three digit numbers starting with 6. In the strip field, fill in 0 or leave it blank. Choose the extensions. Select the service provider trunk created above. Follow the steps above to set up on my PBXB site.
Create a zip service provider trunk in my PBXB and register it to my PBXA. In type, choose zip. The host name slash IP is the public IP of my PBXA. Also create an outbound route. The dial pattern is 5xx. In the strip field, fill in 0 or leave it blank. Choose the extensions. And select the service provider trunk created above. Run the test. Dial extension 601 with extension 502 of my PBXA. Extension 601 rings. Then use 601 to dial 502 of my PBXA. Extension 502 rings. Extensions of the two my PBX can make free calls to each other now.